Hello once again. Yeah, finally after a whole month, I'm back with a a real uh, a full prediction video. Yeah, you know it's been some week uh, boxing weekends this month, so yeah, I wasn't really able to make uh, a really good good prediction video, so. I waited for now till the last weekend of this month which is on Halloween actually and uh, yeah there are some really really good fights this is uh, I guess the best weekend since the boxing came back so I would like to start with first with the best fight <laughs> which I don't do usually, but anyway, um, of course, that is Geronte Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz, yeah, so, um, this is, uh, of course, one of the biggest fights uh, of this year, and uh, it, uh, the titles at stake uh, it are WBA uh, actually I don't understand it says WBA light title wow and WBA super super award super favorite title so uh, actually yeah uh, Geronti Davis he won the lightweight title in uh, his last fight against Gamboa Yuriorkis while Leo Santa Cruz, he uh, won the WBA super, uh, super fair Italian, also his last fight. So, uh, this is the fight between two guys that are, you know, not so different as fighters, but uh, they are kind of different in age, and uh, yeah. Santa Cruz is now the older guy. S suddenly, he's 32, while Davis is 25. But he's got a uh, two inch height advantage, uh, Santa Cruz, and a uh, and, uh, one and a half inch reach advantage. Yeah. Alright, so <laughs> uh, this is actually uh, unusual because. It hasn't happened a lot that uh, two different uh, weight class titles are at stake in one fight. So uh, this is kind of like Sugar Ray Leonard when he fought Donnie Lalonde for uh, <laughs> WBC Super Middleweight and Light Heavy title. So anyway, uh, I think many people are expecting Gervonta Davis to win this fight uh, impressively also and uh, yeah I mean there may be some tr some uh, basis in that because um, he has been nothing but impressive so so far you know destroying some good fighters like uh, Jose Pedraza for instance Liam Walsh but they were, they were both undefeated also Francisco Fonseca was undefeated and he was knocked out by Geronti and uh, of course the last but not least Yuri Orkis Gamboa he was not undefeated and he was at the end of his career but he's still a you know a, a big name yeah, so uh, Santa Cruz, on the other hand, has kind of, you know, been fighting uh, in his last two fights, and we kind of low, lower level opponents, you know, so, uh, yeah, the last big fight was in 2018, when he beat Abner Maris. Um, who himself was maybe already past his prime so yeah his last true you know uh, 
high level fight was against Carl Frampton which was in January 2017. So you know what, he's also had some family issues with his father is is now also quite ill um so that's why I mean, most people are not really favoring him to win this fight uh, and i'm not really either uh, because uh, <laughs> he is a fighter that fights uh, that wins by uh, applying pressure you know and out punching mostly out punching rather than outboxing his opponents you know so uh yeah it's not to say that he cannot box but <laughs> he doesn't really box that much usually but here he will be i guess forced to do that more uh, because he's fighting a true destroyer you know and a uh, guy who who knocks everybody, who has knocked almost everyone he has faced out, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean... Uh, definitely it will be a good fight, I mean Santa Cruz will try to, to use his reach, superior reach and height, you know, to his advantage, but... Uh, I think Davis is he's used to, you know, fighting guys that are taller and ranger than him you know so uh yeah i mean uh like pedraza of course he's he was the taller man when they fought and uh for instance jesus suelar as well who was actually a world champion for a while so, you know, he has fought a few guys that are, you know, taller, uh, considerably taller than him. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> the only, the big question is how well uh, will Santa Cruz, a famous tough, tough guy, take uh, Davis's punches? And if Will Davis be able to stop Santa Cruz? That's a big question. Uh, because, uh, sorry. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure really, you know. Uh, he, all, I mean, in Gamboa almost, almost managed to go the distance against Tank Davis. So maybe, I think, I expect Santa Cruz to perhaps go the distance, you know, because uh, he has never so far been close, actually, to being stopped. Even though he hasn't fought perhaps someone that, you know, both hits as hard as the is and has the, the offensive abilities, you know, speed and reflexes and all that, like the is. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> This one is really not that hard to pick, you know, but I still think with his youth advantage and I guess speed and power advantage, um, Geronte Davis is the more reasonable uh, pick than uh, Santa Cruz, who now may be, you know, getting on a little bit in age and perhaps he's not as hungry as he used to be and has family problems and all that so but of course that may even serve to you know give him more uh, motivation for his fight to fire him up because he will he sh i'm sure he wants to to win this fight for his father so yeah so anyway, uh, finally my prediction is, uh, yeah, I think Geronte Davis, I mean, if he does pull off uh, on a stoppage, it will not be before, I think, the, the, the ninth round, yeah, something like that, not before, 
but I think uh, it is more reasonable to expect uh, a decision victory because uh, Davis hasn't fought someone uh, who who was in their prime and as good as Santa Cruz either you know, yet. So this will also be a rather big test for him. You know. The only question is. Uh, <laughs> what what stage what level is santa cruz at right now so that that question will be answered all right so i guess i my prediction is that Gervonta davis wins on points where most likely maybe by a late stoppage all right this one took a really long time i'm sorry and then uh a heavyweight fight which is between Alexander Usyk and Derek Chisora. Yeah, this one is also rather interesting, you know, because Usyk is this is his first true test, you know, at heavy heavyweight. <laughs> He's fighting a guy who is pretty tough, you know, and strong and is not gonna be just a pushover for Usyk like Chaz Witherspoon was. Um, <clears throat> but of course Chisora is already you know 36 and he's famous for not having the best discipline maybe uh, even though lately he has won you know a few fights he even stopped David Price for what that is worth but he has also been knocked out before First by David Hay, <coughs> then sorry, last by Dillian White, <coughs> almost two ye years ago. Usyk, of course, he is a very skilled guy, you know, very clever and uh, very. I mean, he doesn't. He's got great concentration. He's very consistent, you know, and uh, doesn't really fall apart, you know. Uh, even when things aren't going his way, even when he he isn't in complete control, I mean, so uh, <laughs> yeah, I I definitely favor him to win here, but uh, that will I guess be on points very likely because I don't know if his power is is good enough to stop a guy like Chisora. You know, even when he was a cruiserweight, I think his power was perhaps more of a, you know, not of that grade like, uh, you know, Mike Tyson kind of whatever. He was not really a guy who could just knock you out with one punch or something. He was more like a guy who would break you down and then stop you. So even at cruiserweight, he was not really a huge puncher. He just you know, had some, he, he had power, but more like a accumulative kind of power, you know. So, uh, he will, I hope he will not get you know, a bad treatment from the judges like uh, Lomachenko did, you know, and like some other Eastern Europeans have gotten. So, uh, <laughs> This fight is gonna be where it's gonna be. It's gonna be in uh, just a second. Oh, London, yeah. So, you know, I guess I trust that they will, you know, be fair. They're judges. It's not USA. USA is the big, big problem. Alright, so Oksana Yusik to win on points against Derek Chisora. And now, since I. <laughs> Well, I have maybe, I was thinking of doing four fights, but now it, uh, it will have to be three, because I spent so much time on the first one. Uh, Naoya Inoue versus Jason Maloney. That's a really good fight. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. Of course, it's in uh, at the MGM Grand. 
Jason Maloney, he uh, is in Australia, of course, fighter who has, has one loss, which was on split decision, yeah. But since then, he has been rather successful, even though his level of opposition was not that great, but um, I guess he's a rather, you know, rather solid fighter, but of course... Uh, <laughs> Against a guy like you know what he cannot hope you know for much except maybe last as long as possible. Well, of course, this fight is the one I don't expect to go the distance. Uh, you know, is just simply a monster, <laughs> like his fighting nickname says. So, uh it's not really hard to predict one, is it? It's just hard to see which round it will end, but uh Yeah, I'll say maybe a sixth or somewhere in there. Maybe even sooner, but uh, of course Moloney has not been stopped yet. So who knows? Maybe he will go, you know, even longer than that somewhere into the later rounds maybe but uh, yeah i doubt i'm not sure so sure that he can last the whole 12 rounds but anyway uh in all the wins either way i mean even if it, if it should go the distance i'm not uh, excluding that as a possibility because uh in all the way, his last fight was last november so you know, <laughs> who knows? Yeah, so you know where uh, is to win most likely by a KO in somewhere in the middle rounds. Yeah. All right. So that was our, that was it for this time. Wow. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.